Winter had come, and for many days now had held everything in an icy grip. The countryside was frozen hard, trees were white with frost, and icicles hung from bridges and water columns. Mercifully, there was little snow. Too cold for that, thank goodness, shivered James's driver as he and the fireman huddled on the sheltered side of the cab. James had an open foot place and every day his crew came to work muffled to the eyebrows in scarves and jerseys. Sometimes water columns froze too and then the engines could not get the water they needed. But this never happened at the workstation and one day when the frost seemed harder than ever James's driver stopped him beside the water column there. We'll give you a good topping up while we can he said. There's no telling when we might get some more. James shivered as the icy water cascaded into his tender, but he knew his driver was right. They filled James's tank to the brim because the fireman forgot to tell the driver to turn the tap off. Water overflowed onto James's tender, making him shiver again. Right, said the fireman, jumping down to the footplate. Let's be off. I want to warm myself up shoveling coal. <laughs> we can't go yet, laughed the driver. They haven't finished loading the luggage van. Well, I wish they'd hurry, grumbled the fireman, blowing on his hands. I'm frozen from standing on that tender. engines have a tap called an injector. It allows the driver or fireman to transfer water from the tender to the boiler and is very important. Without it, the water level in the boiler could become too low to make steam properly. They had not gone far before James felt thirsty. I need a drink, please, he said. His driver switched on the injector, but nothing happened. The fireman tried his duplicates. Still nothing. I've got such a pain, groaned James. Your injectors failed, said his driver. Blockage in the pipe, most likely. We'll have to stop and deal with your fire. Can't go on without water. Don't set the sleepers on fire, pleaded James. Henry would never let me forget it. The fireman laughed. You'll be all right if we just damp you down, he said. There's no need to throw the fire out, as Henry did. They stopped near a signal box, and James's driver asked the signalman to telephone for help. The work sent a diesel, whom James had never met, to help him. Rescued by a diesel, he snorted disgustedly. It's degrading. I won't go. But he soon changed his mind, because now that his fire was down, his boiler was cooling, and he could feel the icy wind. The diesel was friendly. James was quiet at first, but by the time they reached the works, the diesel had won him over, and the two of them were chatting like old friends. At the works, James's fireman climbed onto the tender. 
He tried to open the filler cap, but couldn't. There's your answer, James, he said. Your filler cap's frozen solid. That's because the water overflowed. Ice is stopping air from getting into the tank, so the injectors can't work. You'll be all right when the ice melts. He was, and that wasn't all. Thanks to his new friend from the works, even James now admits that diesels can be useful engines too.